From the early Homo habilis to the adventurous Neanderthals, the story of our evolution is rich with characters who, though now extinct, laid the groundwork for who we are today. Among these pivotal figures of the Denisovans, our ancient ancestors whose discovery in 2008 revolutionized our understanding of human evolution. Considered the missing link in our evolution, the Denisovans were a fascinating species whose discovery added a large amount of information to our family tree. But who were the Denisovans? How did their discovery alter our perception of the past? And could it be that their legacy lives on in us today? In 2008, Russian paleoanthropologists unearthed a tiny fragment of a finger bone in the Denisova cave, located in the Altai Mountains of Siberia, near Russia's border with China and Mongolia. This fossil, belonging to a young girl estimated to be between 5 and 7 years old, dated back roughly 40,000 years and shocked the world. Luckily, we didn't have to wait long to learn about this girl, as fortunately the cold Siberian climate preserved her remains including her ancient DNA. In 2010, a team led by Svante Pabo from the Max Planck Institute in Germany extracted DNA from the finger bone fragment. Through genetic sequencing, they discovered that this girl was genetically different from both modern humans, Homo sapiens, and Neanderthals. It was this discovery that unlocked the secrets of the Denisovans and opened up a world of mystery. The discovery of the girl's fossil threw the scientific community on its back and ultimately led to the identification of a new hominin species. Named Denisovans after the cave where the bone was found, further digging unearthed fossilized teeth from three other Denisovan individuals in the same cave, sparking a confusing yet exciting time in science. See, at this point, our understanding of evolution was very fluid, allowing for numerous changes. It was this uncertainty that made the Denisovans a significant find, Till today, the Denisovan fossil record is rare, consisting of a few bone and tooth fragments and a jawbone found in Tibet. However, scientists have been able to use this limited physical evidence and genetic analysis to create a detailed picture of the Denisovans' evolutionary context. So, who were the Denisovans? Well, around 765,000 years ago, Denisovans, Neanderthals, and modern humans shared a common ancestor known as Homo heidelbergensis. By approximately 430,000 years ago, the Denisovan and Neanderthal branches had diverged, with Neanderthals evolving in western Eurasia and Denisovans in the east. Denisovans thrived in Denisova Cave from about 287,000 to 51,600 years ago, possibly extending as far back as 217,000 years ago, although the exact dates remain uncertain. Coexistence with Neanderthals in the cave during certain periods is also supported by evidence. Geographically, Denisovans inhabited regions across Eastern and Southern Asia, from Siberia to Southeast Asia, and potentially Melanesia. They were remarkably successful, interbreeding with both Neanderthals and early modern humans. Genetic studies even suggest modern populations in Southeast Asia and Oceania, particularly in Papua New Guinea, carry up to 5% Denisovan DNA. Denisovan genes inherited by Tibetans facilitated adaptation to high-altitude, low-oxygen environments. Today, debates continue over their exact classification within the human evolutionary tree, with proposals for distinct species names like Homo Denisova or Homo altaiensis. The discovery of the Denisovans revealed a complex and interwoven narrative of ancient human species. Because of this, it is no secret that today, researchers continue to study their origins, disappearance, and contributions to human evolution and culture. But what did these ancient Denisovans physically resemble? The Denisovans, though sparse in fossil remains, left behind a rich genetic legacy that gives us insights into their likely appearance. See, based on their genome, they probably had dark skin, brown hair, and brown eyes. Their facial features likely included a prominent, broad face, a large nose, a sloping forehead, and a strong jaw. Their skulls were probably elongated and flattened, with wide chests and hips. Besides this, dental clues suggest Denisovans had notably longer dental arches compared to Neanderthals and modern humans. Their large, robust molars resembled those of archaic humans from the middle to late Pleistocene, while their front teeth were flat and their jaws had a gap behind the molars, similar to Neanderthals. They also lacked a tall jawbone, 
and their jaws sloped backward at the front. Physically, Denisovans were likely large-bodied and big-brained, much like the Neanderthals. Those in colder regions might have had sturdy trunks and relatively short, wide bodies. Although we can't say for sure what Denisovans looked like, their limited fossil evidence does provide some clues. For example, a finger bone falls within the modern human range of variation for women, while other evidence, including large and robust molars, a partial jawbone and a parietal bone, is more reminiscent of Homo erectus. In terms of genetics, the Denisovan genetics provided fascinating insights into their adaptations and legacy in modern human populations. For one, the Denisovans had genetic variants around the EPAS1 gene, which in modern Tibetans assists with adaptation to low oxygen levels at high elevations. Essentially, this means that Denisovans living in high altitude areas developed similar adaptations as modern Tibetans. But that's not all as genetic variants found in the fossils contained the WARS2 and TBX15 loci, which are known to affect body fat distribution in the Inuit. This suggests that these genes help Denisovans maintain body heat and energy reserves in harsh, cold climates. Their genome also suggested that they had dark skin, brown hair, and brown eyes, traits likely advantageous for survival in various environments. This trait continues to this day, as modern human populations, particularly those in Asia and Oceania, carry Denisovan DNA. There's still a lot to uncover about the Denisovan gene, but one thing is clear. These traits show just how adaptable the Denisovans were to diverse and challenging environments. As such, their genetic legacy has left a lasting impact on the genetic makeup of modern human populations. Now that we know what they look like, the next question is, where did they live? Although their primary known habitat is the Denisova Cave in the Altai Mountains of Siberia, where their remains were first discovered, the Denisovans actually inhabited a diverse range of environments and had an extensive geographical distribution across Eurasia. Their region, however, was highly unstable and experienced significant climate fluctuations over time. This is because it kept transitioning between warm, moderately humid pine and birch forests and colder tundra or forest tundra landscapes. On the Tibetan Plateau, the discovery of the Jiahi mandible fossil marked the earliest recorded human presence in this high-altitude region. The environment here was characterized by low temperatures, low oxygen levels, and very limited resources. This ultimately suggests to us that the Denisovans were capable of surviving in harsh, high-altitude conditions that were previously thought to be inhabited only by modern humans. The Denisovans also lived in the jungles of Southeast Asia, with the Tamningu Hao II site in Laos potentially representing a closed forest environment. So basically, they were not only suited for the cold, but were also well adapted for tropical forest habitats as well. While physical remains were found in only a few locations, genetic evidence suggests that Denisovans ranged widely across East Asia and possibly Western Eurasia. Besides this, the high percentage of Denisovan DNA in modern Papuans and Australians imply that they may have crossed the Wallace Line. The Wallace Line is a faunal boundary drawn in 1859 by the British naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace that separates the eco-zones of Asia and Australasia into regions like New Guinea and nearby islands, and possibly Oceania. Denisovans crossing the Wallace Line was a huge theory, as it suggested that Denisovans could cross large bodies of water. It also indicated that they may have inhabited various islands in the region, Besides that, there was also genetic evidence suggesting Denisovan ancestry in populations as far west as Iceland. This could imply that Denisovans had a broader range than currently evidenced by fossil remains, possibly extending into Western Eurasia. Overall, the Denisovans shocked researchers as they demonstrated remarkable adaptability. They inhabited a wide array of environments, from the cold, fluctuating climates of Siberia to the high-altitude harshness of the Tibetan Plateau and the tropical jungles of Southeast Asia. With such a wide range, meetings between Denisovans and other humans were not uncommon, so much so that they actually mated with one another. One of the things that set the Denisovans apart prominently is their genetic legacy. This is because it was very much intertwined with other human lineages through interbreeding events that have left indelible marks on the genomes of our present-day populations. Genetic studies have unveiled a complex tapestry of interbreeding interactions between Denisovans, Neanderthals, and even early modern humans. 
Contrary to what you would believe, these intergroup encounters were not sporadic but rather recurring and ultimately led to a significant genetic mixture. For example, up to 17% of the Denisovan genome recovered from the Denisova cave shows traces of Neanderthal DNA. This discovery at first seemed impossible, but would later prove that there was a substantial degree of gene flow between these closely related hominin groups. The presence of hybrid individuals like Denisova 11, a first-generation Denisovan Neanderthal hybrid, sealed the deal. It changed everything, as it proved that two separate species could even produce offspring, which was perhaps a somewhat common occurrence in the past. Besides this, genetic studies also showed that Denisovan genes are found in varying amounts across different parts of the world. In fact, modern populations in Oceania and Southeast Asia, Aboriginal Australians and Melanesians exhibit significant Denisovan DNA contributions, ranging from 4% to 6%. This regional concentration suggests that interbreeding predominantly took place in these areas, possibly facilitated by environmental and demographic factors of ancient migrations. The genetic legacy of Denisovans extends beyond mere ancestry, influencing adaptive traits in modern humans. Studies have shown that Denisovan genes have played roles in immunity, with certain variants potentially creating resistance to specific pathogens. To make things more interesting, Researchers have also found that there are different groups of Denisovans with unique genetic traits. For example, analysis of East Asia genomes reveal contributions from two separate Denisovan populations, suggesting multiple waves of interbreeding events and a dynamic interaction between ancient human groups over millennia. The Denisovans were far more intelligent than you would initially give them credit for. This intelligence would ultimately help them shape a culture that is bound to intrigue you. In 2021, significant findings emerged from Denisova Cave in Siberia, linking stone tools directly to Denisovan fossils. This was a big deal, as it marked the oldest known artifacts associated with the species ever. These discoveries were detailed in a study published in Nature Ecology and Evolution. It included 3,791 bone fragments scrutinized for Denisovan proteins confirming their presence in layers dating back approximately 200,000 years. The artifacts, however, were not the only headline of the discovery. They were unearthed alongside butchered and burned animal remains, offering crucial clues about Denisovan dietary practices. The analysis suggests their diet included deer, gazelles, horses, bison, and even woolly rhinoceroses. Besides indicating that they had a meat-rich diet, the analysis also suggested that they were extremely skilled hunters with an amazing ability to adapt to their environments. The stone tools discovered were predominantly scraping implements and were likely used for tasks such as processing animal hides with raw materials sourced from nearby river sediments. These tools, while unique to Denisovan contexts, bear similarities to artifacts found in other regions. As such, it suggests a broad technological knowledge possibly shared among ancient human groups. Moving on, another particular discovery deduced from the animal remains was the Denisovans' ability to use fire. The burnt animal bones found in association with Denisovans strongly suggest a capability for fire control and utilization. This would have been essential not only for cooking, but also for warmth, protection, and potentially social activities within their community. Beyond practical tools and dietary strategies, Denisovan culture also features the presence of ornamental artifacts, like pendants and bracelets, carved from ivory and chloritolite. These items, although unexpected, hint at symbolic behavior or personal adornment, reflecting a level of cultural complexity and creativity among these ancient hominins. In summary, the archaeological findings from Denisova Cave paint a compelling narrative of Denisovan life and technology during the Lower and Middle Paleolithic periods. From amazing adaptation to varied environments, to sophisticated tool-making abilities and cultural practices, the Denisovan culture was a mirror of the general culture at the time and contributed significantly to our evolving understanding of human evolution and diversity. So what happened to them in the end? For the most part, the Denisovans are still a largely mysterious group, as even their extinction is still a mystery and remains a subject of intense study and speculation. 
One prevailing theory suggests that their demise could be attributed to the arrival and expansion of Homo sapiens into Eurasia around 40,000 to 50,000 years ago. The theory believes that this migration likely led to competition for resources and possibly direct conflict, contributing to the Denisovans' decline. Another intriguing possibility is that rather than facing outright extinction, Denisovans may have been assimilated into the gene pool of modern humans through interbreeding. After all, genetic studies have revealed that populations outside Africa possess traces of Denisovan DNA, indicating past intermixing events. Sadly, the study of this elusive ancestor of ours has been painfully slow, as it is complicated by the scarcity of fossil evidence and has since led to many controversies. In fact, recent discoveries such as the Dragon Man skull in China, initially proposed as a new species, Homo longi, have sparked debate. This is mainly because some scientists argue these fossils could belong to Denisovan. Besides this, controversies still surround the relationship between Denisovans and other Homo species, like Homo floresiensis and Homo luzonensis. While some propose these tiny species may have been Denisovan, or closely related, others argue they are too ancient to be directly linked. The human evolutionary tree is anything but straight, and over the years, it has shown that anything is possible. Among these impossibilities, the Denisovans stand at the top, continuing to baffle researchers and scientists alike. Our ongoing research continues to unravel the mysteries surrounding these enigmatic ancient humans and their place in the broader story of human evolution. But what do you think about the Denisovans? Let us know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, why not hit the like and subscribe button to learn more about the past? Until next time.